Hello, how are you? Today, kanji video number 15 of JLPT 4. We are going to learn five kanjis about the season and also some vocabularies related using these kanjis. This kanji pronouns ki and the meaning is the season. The stroke order is very easy. The first one is this one, red one. It's like no from katakana tu. And now this part, it is like tree, tree, ki. But the second one here, and the third, and this is quite short. And this one, and this one, this is longer than usual, ki, okay? And now this part is ko. Ko is a child. The first one, this one, and the blue one, and finally this one, like this, this green one. The advice is this kanji looks quite vertical, quite long. And also this ko must be inside of this one and this one. And inside, okay? Shiki. This shi, it is the kanji of four. Ichi ni san yon. But here we pronounce shi. Then shiki, this one. It means four seasons. It is spring, summer, autumn, or fall, and winter. This kanji, this is ame, rain. But here we pronounce u. Then uki, the same one. Uki, it means rainy season. Now, this kanji, this, this comes from the verb kawakimasu, to dry. And here we pronounce kan. Kanki. Kanki, it means dry season. This kanji means not or joint. And we pronounce fushi or setsu. Sechi. Now, about the stroke. At first, we must write this one. In this part, it's kanmuri. And in this case, we say take kanmuri. Take kanmuri, this is the crown of the bamboo. Do you remember ke from katakana, kakiku ke? So this is like twice ke and ke. But the, the difference, the first ke is going inside like this, and the second one is like this. So the total, it looks like this, okay? So it means one, two, a little bit going up, three, and this is going inside. And now the second one, four, five, and this is also going inside. So like this. As you already know, the always this line is going up. And the second K, this one is a, you begin higher and a little bit bigger than this one. Now this part. The first one is this blue line, like this one. This is like going inside like this. Then this green line and red one. And the last, this uh, black one going down and you you going up li like this, okay? Then the last one is this blue one and close. And the last part is this one, the red line. About, about here and going straight down and this is quite long and now this green line and like this part and going a little bit up and now not straight down but you must go to your left and down and jump together with the kanji that we just studied ki then kisetsu this is the season Kisetsu, a Japanese traditional event called setsubun, where we add this kanji bun, here we, we pronounce bun, but this is ipun, nifun, sampun, yonfun, this is minute, minute, okay? And also this is the kanji of wakemas to separate, and together we pronounce setsubun. Do you know what kind of event is it? If you don't, you can watch my anime number 17. In this video, I talk about setsubun, setsubun, very in, in detail. Setsubun is usually the 3rd of February, the February the 3rd. But some year, it can be the 2nd, the 2nd day of the February, or the February the 2nd. Setsubun, 
refers to the division between winter and spring. So this is why wakemas to separate seasons. So please don't forget to watch my anime video number 17 to know what kind of things we do and what kind of special food we eat in this in this day setsubun. Osechi ryori. And here we use sechi with this kanji. Ryori, this is dishes or some uh, food. And osechi, this is season. So some kind of seasonal dishes. Traditional Japanese meal only prepared for New Year. So this is very special, special meal. If you want to know what kind of things, you can watch my anime video number 12. Number 12, you can watch all of this osechi ryori. Now the verb, to economize or to save. Setsuyaku shimasu. Setsuyaku shimasu. We can use this setsuyaku shimasu with many nouns. For example, okane, money. Okane o setsuyaku shimasu to save money or to economi economize money. And save time. Jikan. Jikan o setsuyaku shimasu. To economize energy or to save energy. Energy o setsuyaku shimasu. The joint. Kansetsu. The same kind here. Kansetsu. Fingers joint. Yubi. Fingers. Yubi no kansetsu. Let's learn how to say each finger in Japanese. This one, thumb. Oya. Oya yubi. Oya yubi. And the second, index. Hito. Hito sashi yubi. Hito sashi yubi. This one. And the center, naka. Center, the middle. Naka yubi. The middle of the fingers. Naka yubi. This one. And this is the fourth one. Ring finger. Kusuri yubi. Kusuri. Kusuri yubi. And the little one. Pinky. Small one. So that's why we use chisai. Ko, ko yubi. Pinky. Little finger. Wrist joint. Tekubi. Tekubi no kansetsu. The knee joint. Hiza. Hiza no kansetsu. Elbow joint. Hiji. Hiji no kansetsu. Ankle joint. Ashikubi. Ashikubi no kansetsu. I have a pain in my ankle joint. Ashikubi no kansetsu ga itai desu. Spring. Haru. Haru. In onyomi, we pronounce shun. Especially we use in jukugo, the combination of kanjis. The stroke order is very easy. At first, this one, two, three. This is kanji three, san, okay? But the first one, you must write a little bit going up and not very long. But the second one, this black line, this is a little bit shorter than this red one. Not the same, a little bit shorter, but nearly, nearly the same, but a little bit shorter, okay? And the third one, blue one, this is the longest one, like this. Now this part, this is like a person, hito, right? So in the center, this green line going like this, and you open. This is shoo, quite long. And now from here, this point of, this point of the black, Point. From here, the red line, like this, open quite lo long. So this one, like this, and this. The last one is this one, and you know this one already, right? This is Nichi, from Nichiyobi, Sunday, or Hi, the sun. So it's very easy. The first one is this black one, one, two, three, and four. The advice is that you must go in a little bit up, as usual, like always going up. And this one, this black one, and this blue one here, 
it is going like this, a little bit close, okay? And this green line just in the center, the between this one and this one. So this ratio and this ratio is about the same. This must be just in the center of here, okay? One other thing, this he, this this part of this he, this red one, this is the more button under, more under than these two. These two are quite long, but this one is in the bottom of this kanji, okay? With this kanji, this one is ao, ao is blue, so blue and spring. We pronounce seishun, seishun, and this means the youth. We can also translate very poetically like this. Springtime of life. Seishun. Puberty. Puberty. Shishunki. Shishunki. Because this ki, it means the period of the time. And shun, because this is the spring. The period of the time, it's spring yet. But this one, omoimas to think to think, to think, because there are lots of worries. There are so much, ah, so, oh, I don't know how to do, ah. So in puberty, there are so much worries. So this is shishunki, puberty. Spring equinox day, shunbun no hi, shun, the, the spring, and bun, to separate, and the day, shunbun no hi. Spring equinox day. I'm quite sure that this is the first time you hear this word. Haru ichiban. Haru ichiban. Haru spring. And ichiban. The first. The first strong and southern wind of the year. And this means the start of the spring. Spring rolls. This is the name of the dish. Haru maki. Haru spring. Maki is like a makimas to roll something. Makimas harumaki spring roll. Summer natsu summer and we can also pronounce this kanji ka or ge. Let's write this kanji together. The first one, this red line, a little bit going up. And now the second one, this black one, too. And now this part. This is like me, this is me, the eye. So one, a little going like this, two, and three, four, five. Now this lower part. At first this green line, like this one, and now this red one, two. Here this is like ku from katakana, right? Kaki ku. And now this black one from here and long, like this. Summer holidays, summer vacation, everybody, everybody loves it. Natsu yasumi, natsu yasumi, midsummer, midsummer. So we add this one, ma, then manatsu, manatsu, summer festival, natsu matsuri, natsu matsuri. I have two videos about natsu matsuri. One of them is Culture video, culture number 14, and there I talk about Natsu Matsuri, what kind of things we do and why, and these kind of things, and number 14. And number 15, about the meals, what kind of special meals we can buy in Natsu Matsuri, number 15. So please watch these two videos, I think you like them. Early summer, shoka. Shoka. This kanji sho, this is from hajimemashite. How do you do? Like, and hajimemas to begin something for the first time. Hajime. Then shoka. So this is early summer. The summer solstice. Geshi. Here we pronounce ge, this kanji. Geshi. Geshi is the longest day of a year. And it is about June 20th or the June 22nd, around that time. Autumn or fall. Aki. Aki. 
And onyomi is shu. This is long sound. Shu. This kanji is the combination of nogi heng, this one, and this part is hi, fire. So it's very easy. At first, nogi heng, this no, katakana no, chun. And now here, this is ki, tree. So one, two, three. And this one, as this is just a part of the kanji, hen, hen, so it's not long, so it's quite short. Now the part of fire, one, two, and like person, three and four. Autumn equinox day, or four equinox day. Shubun no hi, shu. Before this was a spring, shun, and now autumn or fall, shu, quite similar, but shun with n sound, shun, shun, but here, shu, long sound, shu, shu bun no hi. Akita prefecture, Akita ken. Akita ken is here, this green one. This is quite north of Japan, Akita ken. And we use Akita as a family name. Akita-san, Mr. Akita, or Akita-sensei, the, the, the professor Akita. Now a quiz time with three translations into Japanese using kanji. Ichiban-me. Japanese rainy season is around June. Nibame. The season that Akita-sensei likes the most is the spring. Be careful, this is a superlative. Sabame, saigo desu. I wanna go on a trip to Hokkaido in summer vacation. I understand that sometimes mm, you don't feel like learning kanjis. I understand it. But each video, only five kanjis, it's not so much. And even you can learn many vocabularies. In this way, you can realize I can read these kanjis and I know what's the meaning. So please don't get worried if you forget something. Oh, I don't remember these kanjis. But don't worry because you can get back to these previous videos. Then listening, listening and watching. Then you realize that you are learning them. And don't try to learn, for example, 20 kanjis a day. It's too much. So you can learn it little by little. If you think this video was useful for you, please don't forget to give me like. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do it too to, to learn Japanese with me. And if you can, please help me sharing my videos with your friends. いかがでしたか? 今日は季節の漢字を5つ勉強しました。でも実際にはまだ 冬が残っていますよね。それは次回のお楽しみです。漢字を勉強するのはとても面倒くさいですよね。私も子供の頃面倒くさいなと思っていました。ですから、できるだけわかりやすく、そして少しずつ一つのビデオに漢字が5つです